This video is going to demonstrate how to install the system program for the firmware for the M controller style Tajima machine. This particular model is a TEMX C1501 single head. Before we begin, we want to check some of the parameter settings, namely the ATH, which is F2. Go down to line 9, press set, and take note of the picker timing on this particular model. It's at minus 3. Uh, that is the length of the trim setting. When you load the firmware, it does change some parameters back to a default setting. So you may want to go through some of these other F1 keys, F1 and F2 take note of your parameter settings or if you press the I button three times actually two times you'll get to a screen that tops off with max RPM and these are all the parameter settings simply viewed arrow down to get page two arrow back up you can see the uh, picker timing tail length is on minus three displayed here. That is the one we're really concerned with. So you want to check the parameters before you start. Now we have a USB stick with 4.7. The prior version on this machine can be checked by pressing set from from the home screen, set and F4 together and down on line 8 it displays 4.61 that's the current version. We're going to upgrade to uh, 4.7 so, shut the machine down and insert the USB stick either in the side of the machine, in this case, this particular model has only a USB slot on the side. All of the M machines have a USB slot on the back of the panel next to the LAN connection or the Ethernet connection. So we can use either uh, this port here or this port and we're going to use this port here okay so we've inserted our firmware software USB stick into the side port of this model and it will boot up as it normally does so we will uh, pause and come back once the uh, screen has finished booting up we will see a progress screen with percentage once it finishes booting up with the uh, percentage progress screen, we will get the install screen. So I will pause until we come back to that uh, moment. We're at 67% uh, on the now system loading screen. Usually it goes to 84%, then 95 then 100%. Ninety two percent flashes one hundred percent quickly, and now we're at the system program install screen. You notice we have uh, three model selections we can choose from. It says uh, single head version 4.70, and it displays model TFMX. Now, this is a TEMX, so we want to select the model version with the dial TEMX and press set. The next step is to use the arrow, the right arrow key, the blue arrow key, right arrow, highlight needles, and change that to 15, and press set. The last step is to right arrow again, and get the install icon highlighted, press set. This will begin the actual installation of the software. As you can see, we get a uh, progress screen showing installing now processing now verifying this takes uh, maybe 30 seconds to a minute once this is done we're going to get a finish notification and at that time we can shut the machine down remove the USB stick from the machine the, inst the installation software USB stick and then repower the machine 
once the machine repowers, we're going to go through the process of resetting some parameters. So we're going to shut the machine off and we're going to pause for a moment till we get back to our normal boot up screen again. So we've removed the USB stick with the software from the machine and we've turned the machine back on and we're just about done loading the system. 50%. Once the uh, machine reboots we have to take a few steps that reset parameters and also the uh, frame origin memory. So it displays our 4.70 version and once it reboots completely we get our needles. Single head you should see this come up 15 needles you press set and then you press E. When you press E you should get a now processing screen. This may last 10 seconds or so. The next is your frame type. We're on cap. We can select whatever's there and press set. Again, we'll get a now processing screen. At the same time, you'll hear the uh, power for the motors shut down, the light on the front for your thread brake sensor will go off and once the process is finished everything comes back to life and the screen should clear to the next procedure that has to be done which is going to be setting the frame origin memory we have to press set on this and what will happen is the frame will go through a process of taking some measurements once that's done, we have actually completed the installation. We need to go back now and reset parameters. Our parameter settings, we're going to start with B. We press B once. We want to go to B1, press set, and we want to change our automatic color change, AC, back to yes. We want to change AS back to yes. And usually we have same color, AS, set to yes. Then we want to go to F2. We want to go down to main shaft inching, make that 4 from 0. Press set. We want to go down to ATH. And we want to go back to our picker timing and change that back to minus 3, which was our parameter we wrote down. We want to go back down to return stitching. And return stitches we want to set, usually we set that for 1. The rest of these parameters should be okay. The last one on the next page is the hook type. In this particular case, there's only one selection, A, but you may have an A or a B, and that selection can be uh, made depending on the, um, the type that you'll see next to the model number on your machine. It will have a type, type A or type B. The next setting we want to go is we want to go to C, Turn the maximum speed down to, say, 800, and press set. We want to go and select a couple of other parameters here. So we're going to set, press set and B together. We get a screen that says design rotation by 180 degrees on cap frame. It says no, we want to say yes. That will automatically rotate our designs when we are in cap mode. One other setting we need to do is set the maximum main speed, the maximum machine main speed. So if we hit set and F2 together, on the top it says max revolution limit. We're going to hit set. And the password for this is using the arrow keys, move till you get zero. And then you want to go zero set, zero set, zero set, zero set, four zeros move it to enter, press set, so now the max revolution limit we can set the maximum revolution limit. On this particular machine 1000 is okay, it's a single head, so we'll press set. 
we're done, we'll press E. So we've gone through and we've reset our parameters and everything should be back to as it was. If we go back to the main screen, we hit set and F4 together, we can see that we have now installed 4.70. So the machine is ready to run. And that's the procedure used for installing the system program on an M controller machine. And one last parameter that we need to set for this particular machine is the network connection for the LAN. So to do that, we want to press set and F3. And on the bottom we have network. We'll go down to the bottom. We'll change the no to a yes. Press set. It should only flash now processing for a few seconds. That confirms that we have a LAN network connection. And that is it. So now we're connected via the LAN.